everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Kong and in today's video we are going to look at the Carbine and Devil 13 Deluxe set from Devil Toys. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and take this thing out of the box. Um, now as you can see, uh, the figure has this very nice weathering effect uh, all throughout the, the clothing. Um, the print on the jacket also looks very nice. Alright, so the head can tilt all the way up to about that far. And then it's able to look all the way down with no problem at all. Uh, the shoulder goes all the way up to right about there. Um, just don't want to break it too much. And comes back down. The elbow is double jointed, so it has a very good range here. Uh, the fabric does not restrict it at all, which is very impressive. However, the left arm here, as you can see, the, because of the guard, the arm can only go up to right about there. So that's a, a little unfortunate. Um, there is an ab crunch, goes about that far down, which is fairly good for a 112 scale figure. He also bends at the waist, so that gives him just a little bit more range of motion. Doesn't go back too much. But I think that's good enough. I don't think anyone will ever need to bend him backwards uh, farther than that. The leg comes up about 90 degrees. And the knee here is also double jointed. So it gives a nice bend that will allow for those dynamic poses. The design of the shoe does not lend, it, lend itself too well um, to a, a wide range of mobility. Um, yeah, but I mean overall, it, it's a it's a very nice figure. Now let's go ahead and get Carbine out here. All right, now let's put him aside. Really, Carbine is the same figure as Devil 13, with the exception that he's blue. Um, and there are some variation in printing on his jacket. Uh, he has the same limitation on the elbow here because of that arm guard. Uh, but if we take a look closer here, the arm guard is a little different. Uh, the one on Carbine here is pretty flat whereas the one on Devil 13 has horns sticking out of them. Um, one th other thing that is a little different is that on Carbine here you'll see that there are some straps along his waist whereas Devil 13 has uh, belts to hold the swords. At first glance I thought maybe we would be able to place the hand grenades into the back pouch. Uh, but it doesn't seem like my back pouch was functional. It seems like the buckles were glued together. So I don't know if that was just my set or if that's just how it is for all of them. All right, and then here they are with other 112 scale action figures. Uh, you'll see that they're kind of in the middle range. They're not as tall as the Mezco Baron Benz, but they are a tad bit taller than the SH figure arts. So um, they're, they're about, in terms of height, they're in mid range, but they're still smaller figures for 112 scale. All right, so now we are going to take a look at the accessories that comes with the set. There is a wide variety of things. Uh, for instance, we get two assault rifle guns, two pairs of hand grenades, two shields, uh, two pairs of guns, uh, a pair of open palms for carbine, and a pair of open palms for uh, for Devil 13. Now, exclusively to Devil 13, we get uh, a pair of red sword and a pair of white swords. Accompanying those two sets of swords are uh, the same swords in their scabbard. Uh, however, these swords cannot be taken out of the scabbard, so that's unfortunate. And lastly, the set does also come with this sheet of stickers. At first, I was really hoping that these are water slide decals that um, we can apply onto the bike, but unfortunately, they're stickers. Uh, but I'm pretty sure they, you know, they'll work just fine. Uh, you can you can apply these onto the front end of the bike to uh, try to recapture that Akira bike aesthetic. 
Um, now here we have the bike side by side. I chose to compare it to the bike that came from the Otomo version um, because they're both very similar. Bike that comes with the deluxe set looks just like the bike that came with the Tech 63 deluxe set with the exception that it's in red. So there isn't anything special or anything new about it. My final impression is that this figure is a big improvement from their first release. Um, you can tell right away that the, the weight of the figure feels different. Uh, they also changed up the joint system or the, the, the articulation. The problem with the first release was that the joints felt very fragile uh, and flimsy, whereas the engineering has improved significantly going into this release. And the joints are all nice and tight, which allows for better posing. And you can see that Devil Toys really took the time to uh, listen to collector's complaints and apply that to this release. So overall, I think it's a fantastic buy. If you are into this line, I think you should definitely pick this set up. If $300 is too much of a commitment, uh, you can always settle for buying them separately the only downfall of that is that you don't get the bike which i mean i guess it's not too big of a deal which it's not too big of a deal because the figure themselves can look amazing without the bike all right well i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that it, it helped you uh, form your own opinion on this set and whether or not you should pick it up if you also picked up this figure, please share your comments down below. I, I would like to hear what you guys thought about it. Um, maybe you might have the same opinion as me. Maybe you might have something a little different. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more videos. I plan to do more uh, in the upcoming weeks here. Well, that is all. I hope you guys have a fantastic Memorial Weekend. And see you next time. Bye-bye.